Hello, let's take a look on how to import 4D human file in Blender. 4D humans is the script, amazing one, that you can get a image or a video and transform it to 3D model. In if you use 4D human, you will have as a result a PKL file, and using this script that you can get on this blend file, you can load it. So let's see how it works. First, let, let me load in Blender. I'm using version 3.6. And opening, you have this script. You must have the PKL file and a SCMPL model in the same folder that you have your Blend file. But let's try to run it to see what happens. If I execute it, you see that it will give an error saying that you don't have a model name Joblib. To install it, you can use another script that comes with the blend file, that is this one. You just go to the Joblib install and press play. And it should install. Let me see here. It's installing the Joblib. You can see this in the console. You can open the console here. So now the joblib is installed. Great, let's go back to the other script and let's run it. You see that it's running, but it complained about another thing. It needs a file, a FBX file. This FBX file you can get from the SMPL site, this one. You have to log in or register in case you didn't for go to the downloads and you get the download version 1.0.2 for Maya get in this file you can save it anywhere and let me find it I already have one here okay so you have this zip file you open it let me Just a moment. I open and I have to use this basic model M file. This is for the male one. The script is not working for the female. You have to use the male. So you extract the FBX to the same folder that you have your blend file and it should work. Let's go back to Blender. Now, if you execute it, you see that it's running, and you see now you have the animation data. If you go to the front view, you can see that it loads the animation. An important thing, in this file, PKL file that I used, I have more than one character. To load other characters, you can change this parameter on the 25 line. This is the first character, so it's the number zero. You can put the number one, and it will get the second character. You can see it's loading. It loaded the second one. You can load the third one, which is the number two. Let me see the console. You can see here that it's showing the maximum number of characters of each frame. So you can use until number 7 to load characters to your blend, blend scene. You can see that I did with the third character. I can load another one and so on. Let me load just this other one to show. And it's an oh, let me show one more, the last character. Because it has something interesting. You can see here, it has only the information, the animation information on the final part. It's because you, you can see this character all the time. So now if you play, you can see the animation, but there is a, th a, a, a tricky thing. 
if you see from the front side it's okay but if you look from the side it's not very useful so you can do another thing first let me erase most of these files and I have just one now we have just this one let me go to the animation tab and let me zoom in here okay you can impose impose mode you must be impose mode you can go inside the model the armature the pose sorry and, and go to the pelvis on this part you change to graph editor and you can see there are some spikes here but let's just focus on the Z location you can press shift age to hide other animation information and press home button to zoom to all the animation and you can see that it goes a little bit crazy what you can do you can press a a twice to unselect a to select everything and you can press S to scale and press Y to scale on just one axis and you can do that let me do again S Y and you can see I'm flattening the Z location of the pelvis bone so now if I play it goes less crazy I can scale it more I can press S Y and 0 so we can flat everything and now you have a much more stable animation where the character is not going all around and that's it basically hope you enjoyed bye